That's me in the middle. <laughs> Love you, Mom, Dad. A Dark Secrets About Homelander's Mother Explored Before I tell you about Homelander's mother and reveal an uncomfortable truth about their relationship, let me bring you up to speed with someone called Oedipus Tyrannus, the man who was prophesied to kill his father and sleep with his mother. So, long ago, a man named Oedipus became the king of Thebes, but plague struck his kingdom. With no solution in sight, he asked the oracle for the cause and solution of the plague. And the oracle replied that it was caused by religious pollution because the murderer of the previous king, Laius, was not caught. Oedipus spent all his resources into finding the murderer but ultimately learned that it was he who had killed Laius and was fathering children with Laius's wife, Jacosta. In reality, Laius and Jacosta had given away the infant son because he was prophesied to kill Laius and sleep with Jacosta. However, the servant who was supposed to kill the child felt pity on him and the the child went on to become Oedipus, the future ruler of Thebes, and a man who was brother and father to his own children, and son and husband to his own mother. In modern times, Sigmund Freud developed a theory called the Oedipus Syndrome, according to which a son developed carnal desires for his mother. Do you know, mommy issues? So why am I telling you all this, and how is it any way related to our beloved bad guy, Homelander? Well, according to one theory, Homelander may have slept with his own mother. As disgusting as it may sound, it may be true. The theory takes root in a statement that Soldier Boy made about Herodism, the obnoxious superhero orgy that takes place once every year. Apart from the return of Love Sausage and all the flying liquid life, fans were quick to notice Soldier Boy saying how he and Lady Liberty started Herodism in the first place in the year 1952. It's my thing. I founded it in 52. Me and this other soup, Liberty. Man, was she a firecracker. <laughs> now, very many characters from the boys had immensely questionable personalities. They kill random people. Some are racist. Some live to have sex. Some do it the other way around. But the weirdest among them has to be Anthony Starr's Homelander, an approval-hungry man-child with sadistic traits who doesn't know what to do with his powers. The Superman parody with blonde hair and blue eyes was supposedly created by Vogelbaum in a laboratory. And that's what everyone believed, including the audience. However, it was recently revealed that Soldier Boy beat his meat into a cup and the white liquid life was taken by Vogelbaum to create a baby, a Superboy who could shoot laser beams and fly. Vogelbaum made a kid. Born spring. 1981. Since Soldier Boy was Homelander's father, the question arises about his mother. From what we know about Soldier Boy's statement about Herogism and Liberty, it is evident that the two of them often slept together. And if Vought International had to create a soup baby, wouldn't it be logical to take the sperm and egg from the strongest soups of the time? Well, yes. The egg for Homelander probably came from Liberty, who later went on to become Stormfront and Homelander's love interest. So Homelander probably slept with his mum. Some may argue that Homelander's mother was Soldier Boy's girlfriend from Payback, the very infamous and now dead B-plug Countess. However, she was not strong enough if you think about it. Homelander is the only one apart from Stormfront who has the ability of flight and if we know one thing from the Homelander and Becca fiasco, it is that superpowers travel from parent to child. That explains why Ryan can fly and shoot laser beams. Yes, they say Homelander killed his mother at childbirth by ripping through her. It is possible that Vogelbaum used Stormfront's eggs, but used the surrogate mother to plant the fetus, whom Homelander ultimately ripped open to come into the world. Furthermore, if you remember the previous seasons of the show, you'll know that Homelander has a pretty strong mommy fetish. I mean, the dude loved drinking Madeline Stilwell's milk and was jealous of her little son. The fact that he also took an interest in Stormfront, his probable mother, was no surprise. Another fact that supports this theory is Homelander's origin in the comics, which clearly stated that Homelander's genes came from Stormfront. Now, this Stormfront was a man who the creators of the live-action show transformed into a woman, but it is quite possible that even in the show, Homelander's genes came from Stormfront. 
Irrespective of the truth behind this crazy theory, the fact that we are talking about it proves the comfort that The Boys shows when it comes to tackling uncomfortable subjects such as incest. And one shouldn't be surprised if the fourth season gives further evidence proving the same. The only hiccup out there is that Stormfront's character is presumed dead. I mean, she was killed off screen, but then she was severely injured and her legs severed. It would be unreasonable to bring back her story arc back into the picture. Nevertheless, let's just wait till the fourth season of The Boys, and if we get some more information in the meantime, we'll be sure to bring you up to speed.